Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Emily and today we're going to be taking a look at the new LEGO Super Mario Series 3 character packs. These were just revealed and similar to Series 1 and 2, we're getting 10 new characters in this wave. I'm going to go through each and every one of these with you guys today, but before we get started, don't forget to leave a comment down below. Tell me your initial thoughts on these. And also, while you're down there, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So I'm going to go left to right on these. So on the far left, I believe that that's Krober, but again, leave me a comment below. Let me know if you know otherwise but I believe that that would be Krober and just from these initial photos they could have done a much better job on him I think the details are lacking I just don't think that this here is worth five dollars because each of these character packs will be retailing for $4.99 so spending five dollars on this Krober here might not be worth it for me but then moving on to Scuttlebug and this is a brand new character we've not seen Scuttlebug before and I really love the use of color on him and the face on him is just precious next we've got Galoomba and we have not seen Galoomba before we've got a bunch of Goombas, pretty much like a Goomba in every set, almost, not quite, but almost. This is a new Galoomba, so it's a brand new face printing, which I'm a fan of. I think he's kind of cute, and it comes with a little cauldron to the side of some fire. Next, let's move on to Swoop. So this is the bat over there, and this is also kind of a disappointment for me, because we got a handful of this character back in series one. He came with the King Boo and the Haunted Yard. I already have those characters, so I'm not going to be spending $5 to pick this one up, but if you did, for whatever reason, miss out on the King Boo and the Haunted Yard expansion pack back from series one, this might be a good one to get. Next, let's move on to what looks like Dry Bones, but I'm not really sure if it's Dry Bones or not, so please leave me a comment below. <laughs> what is this character? Um, it might be Bony Beetle, but I'm just not too familiar with this character, so again, leave me a comment down below. However, my initial thoughts on it are pretty good. Dry Bones was one of my favorites from Series 1. Having this character kind of flattened is cool, but I'm not sure if it's Dry Bones or not, so again, leave that comment down below. Moving on now to Parabomb, and this is another disappointment for me because we've gotten these bombs before. However, this one comes with a parachute, so, uh, you know, it's totally worth the $5, right? <laughs> Moving on now to the 1-Up Mushroom. We've gotten a few mushrooms in the past, but this one's green, <laughs> and it's a 1-Up Mushroom, so kind of neat. I'm glad they finally included it, because I feel like the 1-Up Mushrooms are just so iconic with Super Mario, so it took till Series 3 for them to release one, but I'm happy it's here. I'll probably be picking this one up. Moving on now to Amp, and this is another great purchase for me. We have not seen Amp before or anything similar to this so I'm really excited for it and I really like those use of pieces to the sides those trans yellow lightning bolts coming out of him now here we have shy boo and we haven't seen shy boo yet we've seen boo we've seen king boo we've seen another variant kind of similar to boo but now we finally have shy boo so this will be another purchase for me this is a brand new character and I think they did a really great job with the face printing as well as those two smaller pieces on the face I just think it's really adorable and then finally we've got torpedo Ted and this is another brand new character I am excited to pick this one up the face printing on him looks really nice and he does come with that water biome I, I really love those green seaweed pieces behind him and he also comes with a little propeller on his butt so <laughs> it's just pretty cute I have to say there's a lot that I'm excited for but there's also some disappointments thrown in here so let me know what you think of these leave me a comment down below with your thoughts are you gonna be buying these are you gonna pass them up what do you guys think about this line in general let me know all of it down in the comments below anyways once again I'm Emily don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one